what if I want to convert 18 inches to how many feet? That's what I want to do. Okay, I know that there's 12 inches in a foot, but I don't care about that right now. I want to know how many feet uh, it corresponds to 18 inches. So I look up here and I say, well, what do I have in front of me? I have, I'm trying to convert between inches and feet, and I see that I have a conversion factor between inches and feet, but it doesn't quite match what I'm doing here. This is how you tackle this problem. This trick that I'm, it's not even a trick, it's, it's I hate using that word, is the proper way to do this stuff, okay? If you do it this way, no matter how complicated your problem, you will get the right answer and it will make complete sense to you, okay? This is what you do. You're trying to convert 18 inches, so you write that down, 18 inches, okay? Then you draw a line off to the right and you draw a vertical bar right here. Okay, this is gonna end up being a fraction line. Anything on the top is a numerator, anything on the bottom is a denominator. Don't worry about the vertical bar yet, you'll see that in a second, okay? Now, in order to do the conversion, I have to pick a conversion factor that involves the units I'm trying to convert between. I know that 12 inches is equal to one foot, okay? So, I'm trying to arrive at feet, so what I do is I write it as 12 inches is equal to one foot. This is the conversion factor that I take out of the front of a book or off of Google or wherever I find it and I'm using it in my, in my thing. Now I wrote it this way because, remember, with fractions. You have numerator and denominator. If you have the common term in the numerator and the denominator, it cancels, right? Like 3 over 3 is 1, 5 over 5 is 1, 10 over 10 is 1, okay? Inches divided by inches give you 1, so you can strike out inches with inches. They don't matter anymore. They're, they're, they're gone. And all you're left with is feet. So what you're doing here is, what you end up doing at the end of the day to do this conversion is you say 18 divided by the 12 that you put on the bottom. Okay, and when you actually do that and do this fraction simplification, you're going to get 9, 6 because you're going to divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 6 divided by 2, I'm um, sorry, uh, six, 12 divided by 2 is 6. You can simplify this further, divided by 3. 3 divided by, I'm sorry, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So you're going to have 3 halves, and so this is going to come out to 3 halves when you do the math is 1.5. The unit in the answer is what's on top, feet. Okay, you see there wasn't much math there, okay? All I did, and I'm going to do a lot of these, so you'll get the hang of it after a couple of these if you don't already see it. You take what you start with and you write it down. You draw a horizontal line here and you draw a bar because you're separating uh, what you've written here from your conversion factor, okay? You've got to pick a conversion factor that involves what you're going from to what you're going to. And I know that 12 inches is equal to one foot. Now I can arrange that conversion factor any way I want. I could have written one foot is equal to 12 inches or I could have written one foot on the bottom is equal to 12 inches. But if I had written it, let me show you the wrong way to do it. If I had written one foot on the bottom is equal to 12 inches and I would have accidentally multiplied these numbers together and gotten the wrong answer I would know right away this is wrong to do because there's no cancellation going on here you see inches can't cancel with feet the only reason they canceled here is because I had the same thing on the top and the bottom as far as the units go so they canceled nothing cancels here so you immediately know this is the wrong thing to do and this my friends is the singular power of this method because a lot of times when you're doing this stuff you're given a conversion factor and you're trying to figure out if you need to multiply by the conversion factor or divide. And heaven forbid if you have two or three conversion factors you're trying to deal with all at once. Do you divide them? Do you multiply them? And you're thinking in your head, what would make more sense? Should I divide them? Should I multiply them? What would make more sense? And you're thinking logically about this because you're trying to figure it out, right? This is really no logic involved. It's just math and it's bulletproof that way. You write down what you start with and you arrange the conversion factor such that the unit that you're trying to convert from cancels. And all that you're left with is the unit you're trying to go to, which is feet, okay? And that's why you write it this way instead of the other way around because this cancels. You're left with feet. You know you have to do division here because you have 18 on the top and 12 on the bottom. And you get your answer, okay? Let's do some more. One problem is not going to be enough to get this. But I promise you, once you get it, you're going to have it for life and it's going to make your life so much easier, okay? Okay, now the next problem we're going to do is going to be six feet is equal to how many yards? How many yards? So again, you start with what you have, six feet. Draw that horizontal line with a vertical bar here, and you try to find a conversion factor between feet and yards. We see that we have one, feet and yards. Three feet is one yard, okay? 
I need to arrange it to cancel the unit. So I write it as three feet on the bottom and one yard on the top. Okay, I do that because, and precisely because, I want this foot to cancel with this foot here, leaving me with the yards I'm trying to get to. Okay? Now, because I've canceled my units, I know I'm going to have yards. This is 6 times 1 on the top, so it's just 6 on the top, divided by 3 on the bottom, which is, of course, 2 yards. So 6 feet is equal to 2 yards, and that should make sense to you. Since you know that 3 feet is in a yard, you know that if you have 6 feet, uh, you should have 2 yards. Let's say you're given uh, 12 inches, okay, and you were trying to go to find out how many yards that was, okay? So again, you start with the 12 inches you had and you write it down. You draw a horizontal line and you draw a bar here, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to find out some conversion factor that involves inches and yards. So I look up here and I don't see a conversion factor that does that, okay? I look up here and I see inches and feet and I see feet and yards, but I don't have inches going directly to yards. This is a great example on a test when you'd be scratching your head not knowing what to do because you don't have the conversion factor you need. You throw your hands up, you get, you get upset, okay? Well, this is the power of this method. Let me show you something. I don't know how to get straight to yards, but I do know how to get to feet because I know that 12 inches is one foot, okay? 12 inches is one foot. I wrote it this way because I know if I do that, inches will cancel with inches. Okay, now I can continue drawing these vertical bars as I go down and let's go ahead and try to convert the feet over to yards. I have a conversion factor for that. I know that three feet is one yard. Okay, and because of writing it this way with the feet on the top and the feet on the bottom, I can cancel feet with feet. So they're going to drop out. So all I'm going to have in the end is yards. So that's what I'm trying to get to. 12 inches, I'm converting to yards. Now I have to do the math. Okay, what this is going to be is 12 on the top, okay, divided by 12 times 3 on the bottom. 12 times 3 on the bottom. Anything on the bottom is going to be multiplied together. This is just like one giant fraction. Anything up here, this is 12 times 1 times 1 on the top. This is 12 times 3 on the bottom. So it's 12 on the top divided by the stuff on the bottom. The uh, 12s are going to cancel, right? And so all you're going to have in the end is 1 third of a yard. Okay? One third of a yard. So that's what you do. You start out with what you know, okay? You write it down, and if you do not have a direct conversion factor from point A to B, you just work your way there. You don't know how to go from inches to yards, but you know how to go from inches to feet using this one, and you know how to go from feet to yards. And the units are just going to keep canceling, and whatever's left here on the top is your final unit that you ended up with, and everything else is just multiplied and divide accordingly. So one third of a yard would be the answer there.